So I bought this screen from Taobao, right? Thinking I just need to buy a projector and then I can like, watch my movies, chill time at home. But look at what happened. Huh? I bought it too short! So now, I cannot use this screen. I don't know, does anyone want a screen? Welcome to another episode of Get It! Okay, so mm. today is finally my turn to Kepo Hazel's house. Hey, all this time I've been doing house tours for ah. other people. Ah. Suddenly become my turn, ah, you know. Yeah, yeah. This morning I wake up, do my makeup, I was like, oh, this feels so surreal. Wow. <laughs> okay, so after three months, right, it's finally done. But before we show you how it looks like inside, let's take a look at how it looks like before. was a 1 out of 10, now it's a 10 out of 10. This is a 710 square feet, 2 bed, 2 bath resale condo. I turned it into a 1 bed, 1 bath and it features a Wabi Sabi theme, much thanks to my MVP, Ken Tan from Swiss Interior. Without him, I could not have gotten this done in 3 months. I've been here to see how it progresses from like really quite... No! Ryan has been here since even before I bought yeah, the house. Yeah, yeah. I sent him photos and asked him, Ryan, should I buy this? Yeah, what do you think yeah, of this? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was involved in the purchasing <laughs> yeah. process. Yeah. Okay, let's start at the entrance. Okay, mm -hmm. At the entrance, we have this customized gate from Undigital Lock. So this gate right, is made of mild steel. The material is very thin mm -hmm. and it can customize to any pattern you want. In my whole home, you can see a lot of matte black themes. So this right. was something that I really wanted from the start, right. which is why we chose to go for the sleek, matte, black, right. clean kind of look. I want some privacy. Ah. So I have these like little um, holes here, right. right? And in the center, I actually have a huge slab of empty space right. for the wind to pass through. Right, right, right. But just say, the you can pass through. It's still okay, but right. I feel like it's more stylized. Right, 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 and right. one time I ordered mala, right? Yeah. I was too lazy to open the gate. You know what the guy did? Pass me the mala to this Ooh, Can, can, it? can wow. it? Actually, it can pass it. Wow. So, hey, not bad. Right. Convenient, convenient. Right. And the best thing about this gate, right, is mm. that the lock uh, that governs this gate and the door, right, opens mm. together. So, if you unlock the main gate, the main door will also be unlocked. Funny story. Uh. Ken from Swiss Interior actually set my passcode for me because when they installed the gate, I was not in Singapore. Right, 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 right. You know what's the passcode? Is that. Wow, it's 933933. He really thinks I love my work a lot. Eh. I do la. You do la, you have to la. So this is how I unlock it with the pin right. code. It's super easy. Yeah. I will change the pin code of after course, this video is obviously. out. So this lock that I'm using is called the Philips Easy Key Alpha Lock from Undigital Lock. Actually, they gave me a lot of options, mm. including ones that can use my facial features. Ah, really, really. But I'm all about the privacy, so I don't want the ah. facial feature things. I, I just want it simple, easy. I sleep and, la. This yeah, is very sleep. sleep la. So Ricky, he was so nice. He recommended me this. And I can actually use the key mm. to unlock it or just my thumbprint. Yeah. See? Ding, ding, ding. Yeah. One second and it's open. You know how condos these days are getting smaller and smaller and mm. honestly because of budget constraints, like, I cannot afford something even bigger. Mm. My house is only 710 square feet so every space that I use has to be carefully planned mm. out. Much thanks to Ken once again. Mm. He designed this space for me right in the entrance. He says this is used for my ah, washer and dryer. Yeah. To which I was like, huh? Washer and dryer at the Men Ko, what But he said, trust me, can be done. Can be. Yeah, so this is what yeah. he did. He stacked the washer and dryer and it's just a very concealed kind of look. Yeah. If this layout works, maybe it's something that mm, you mm. can consider but as well. But he can too, wow. Yeah. Okay, so high uh, uh. So this fridge is a housewarming gift by my parents, wow. my dear daddy and mommy. Hey, made it. I told my mom that I have to get the perfect fridge. So she said, you choose and then we want to get it for you. Uh. And you know how they say when you just move into a new house, you have to stock out your fridge mm. and your wardrobe because in Chinese, we have a cheng yu and that is feng yi zu shi. Got here before not? So if you stock up everything well, it means uh. that you will have enough to eat, enough uh. to wear. So you stock up well. Yeah. Wow, quite stock up all. Oh. Eggs, uh, milk, uh. Uh, yogurt. All the food here, right, mm. is uh, look like steamboat food. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Clearly, she don't cook. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, really don't yeah. cook. Yeah. But yeah, this is my fridge, and every time I open it, I am just reminded of 
My parents love him. Oh. Okay, to me that's a big thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Please, yeah. Please. Okay, okay, another design by Ken. Uh -huh. This is so cute. I mm. only found out later on that it's called a niche. Then mm. you can put a bit of display. La. I like to get cute little vases like right. this one. Oh shit, it's a female body. Ooh. Yeah, it's a female body. And why I love this because look at this body. It actually has a tummy. Mm. I know that you know a lot of females we reject tummy. We think like tummy is like oh, so imperfect. But right. this is exactly why I love this piece. And I want to slowly fill up these niches in my house right, bit right. by bit. Right. Sometimes when I go overseas and I see like certain meaningful pieces and I start filling mm. them up as well. Yeah, that, that will mm. make it more meaningful. This, what's this? Oh what's my god, this is the messiest part of my entire home. Oh, oh wow. Messy. Okay lah, but given that you only move in for a couple of days, yeah. typically uh, the DB box is the hardest to hide one because it's very hard to relocate that yeah. entire thing. Yeah. Everything I throw inside. Right. This is your hardest corner lah. Yeah. Three or three lah. Only here. Okay. And everybody, uh -huh. time to see a girl's shoe cabinet. Da -na -na -na. Okay. Honestly, not that much. Yeah, I am not someone who likes to own a lot of things. Right. But I have to say, I have another batch of shoes in my car. This is just like um the minimal right. yeah, things right. that I will need to. Wear. Okay lah, it's mm. also very good already. Yeah. Most uh, most girls I know is like a lot of shoes, a right? Lot, uh, everywhere. Yeah. Mm. Now to this corner, I really love how this is crafted like this. It yeah. gives me more storage space instead of wasting this whole entire block. And the LED strips inside just give it a very warm, right. homey kind of feel. And this vase is called Xiao Pang Tui. Yeah. <laughs> Does it connect? No, it doesn't. Does it, are they? <laughs> that looks so uh. awful. But this is one I got on Taobao as well. I looked long and hard for it. Right. It's called uh, Xiao Pang Tui. Once again, it reminds me that, you know, imperfection should be embraced. Mm. And in the Taobao sample, they actually put flowers in it. The right. short kind of flowers, super cute. But I'm not a plant kind of girl. You won't find plants in my house. So right. that's why this is like that. So you're going to fill up all this with your overseas uh, buys? La. Actually, I don't know. Can you give me some comments on what I should put here? Oh yeah, actually. Yeah, because it's exposed, so I don't want it to be messy. But right. at the same time, I don't know what aesthetic stuff I can put. So mm. feel free to drop in the comment section down below, let me know, okay? Mm -hmm. Now, I want to show you a whole new world! <laughs> wow! Are you ready? Yes! Okay, this is the concealed look that we're going for, but actually when you open up, -da 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 -da, you can push it in. Oh, can Yeah! Oh, so this entire cabinet just transformed into a kitchen. Correct. Yeah, yeah. So credit to Ken as well because if I don't remember wrongly, in the previous house, it was much more compact. Yeah, 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 yeah. But he actually gave me more space because he knows I want a water purifier and I want a coffee machine. So I need all this at Ling Long. So he gave me a lot of like table space yeah. and sink space and a lot of storage space. All these were designed by him, by the way. Wow, honestly, very smart design. I know. Ken tells me in all his years of being in ID, I'm the hardest to work with. Why? 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 Because he said everything I sweep in. Okay. Uh, okay. Hazen, you said I'm hard to But he made everything so good for me. I can't have right? Yeah, right? For a kitchen net to have this amount of space is really quite impressive. Mm. And this is just one part. Eh. You got two parts. Okay, so I mentioned there's a lot of matte black surfaces in mm. my house, right? Including my sink and my tap. I also wanted them in matte black. Mm. So this is the Tekka Granite Sink from Lucky Kun. Mm. And I love how it's so white and deep. So it gives me more space to wash my pots and pans. Mm. Not that I cook very often, lah, huh? mm. but still, it's good to have this because it's very resistant to high temperature. And there's also excellent UV resistance mm. against decoloring. Mm. So I don't have to worry about my decoloring. Oh, uh, uh, uh. And it's bacteria free. Yeah. Easy to clean. If there's one thing in my house, I want it germs free all mm. the time. And look at this tap. I love how it's like the neck of a swan. Okay. Very elegant and the water comes out and just uh. Just makes me so happy to wash my dishes. You will wash your dishes when you don't have to do it. Okay, but I have a lot of like cups. When ah, I drink my water, right. every time I drink, I must wash one time. Right. Yeah, then clean it properly, put it back. I'm very particular lah. So moving on to here, you can see here I actually installed Line 8 power tracks. Mm. Now in my whole home, this is the only area with the Line 8 power tracks. And why do I want them here? It's because I usually have a lot of gadgets. Mm. And, a lot of device lah. Oh uh, no. I really like it because I can put it anywhere. Previously when we featured this Line 8 right, got one comment. Say that this is not safety mark. They really? actually have safety <gasps> mark. How about your safety mark right? mm. So uh, do your research properly, really got safety mark right? And you know this length is customised to my kitchen right. and they also gave me options for the colour. Mm -hmm. So I chose this because it fits like the whole theme of my mm -hmm. home. Mm -hmm. uh, speaking of which, I talk so much, you talk so much, you want some coffee? Okay, 
such a bad host. Well, I, I didn't know you were a coffee snob. Like that, I am. Oh, I am. I was that time I went to a cafe, it was $7 for a cup of coffee. Oh, God. So now that I have my own house, right. this got to stop. Right, right, okay, right, right, because right. after getting this Nespresso coffee machine, I calculated mm. my coffee can be as cheap as 88 cents. 88 cents? Wow. Wow. As opposed to $7 a day. Okay. Correct. Okay, okay. It's proper math, it's yeah. not even girl math. Okay, mm. how about I make you a store meal? Okay. It's like this ice black coffee. Okay, ma. I, although I'm not a coffee drinker, but I don't drink it. Oh, okay, this one is my new coffee machine and mm -hmm. I'm so excited to use it. It's called yeah. the Virtual Pop Plus by Nespresso and it is very easy to use. Mm -hmm. All I got to do is to put this in first and then one touch. Oh, just mm. Ah, okay, okay. Wow, okay. Hey, you have wow, wow, wow. a cafe the way down. It's a layer. Eh. So, what I feel about this is it can achieve mm -hmm. cafe standards mm -hmm. by just being at home. And what I can do is every morning, I just have to press the button, continue doing my makeup, mm -hmm. and then put the cap back on. Bring this to work. You know, it's super super convenient. You in the kitchen just drink coffee, you don't have to cook. Yo, I'm now in the kitchen. Ah, we're going to eat Indomie. Oh, wow, so proud, so proud. I'm 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 Black acrylic and inside, right, it's high grade stainless steel, so I don't have to worry about it rusting. Okay, and mm. this thing clean, that's why I don't need to go to 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 clean up. Oh my god, Ryan, you teaching me things? Very, very obvious. You are not too 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 Induction hot from Mayer is that I can actually choose the speed and it's touch screen mm. sliding control. See, lazy people like me, I can just yeet, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and at level nine, there's a boost. Once again, it's black acrylic. Mm. It's it's so slim, eh. It really yeah. doesn't take up space. You don't see it below. It's yeah. like a steamboat machine, lah, basically. Correct. So yeah. I can put all my Korean drama golden pot. Uh. In the drawer here. Just to just to make me and nothing else lah, right? Right. And there you go. That's my pretty little kitchen. Okay, so let's move on to the living room. So this is my living room. There's a lot of curved edges. I can see from the rug, from my arch sofa. I love everything about this. But why your living room no no TV? You don't have TV? Oh, I'll tell you. Ah, because my living room is so narrow, right? So I told myself to save space. I'm gonna use a projector. Ah, where is this projector? Right here. So I brought this screen from Taobao, right? Thinking I just buy a projector and then I can like watch my movies, chill time at home. But look at what happened. I bought it. <laughs> so what's gonna happen is there's supposed to be a black bar ah, so the white right, right, part right. can come down so I can watch it comfortably but I totally forgot about that so now I cannot use this screen. I don't know. Does anyone want a screen? That uh, is not the correct length. Yeah, yeah, yeah. for me, but maybe for you. Yeah, yeah maybe for you is correct. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Let me know. Then one is yeah. This story is true. Oh no, they are all true. Oh, real story. Yeah. Story. But you can reach, man. What's the point? Oh, I call my father to come here and I stand on his shoulder and then I open it. That's a, that's a <laughs> little bit overkill just to assess your. No uh, lah. Yeah. I, I guess I have to get a ladder one right, day right, right, right. But at least I can put my winter clothes here, ma. You need to use the most use the things here. Yeah, and right. there's this art piece to you know beautify the place mm. and my lime wash. So this is done by Toss. I really love how it features this cream whitish subtle blend of strokes. Fun fact: Do you all know ah uh, that lime wash right actually can reduce the humidity and lower the temperature of your house because it's porous in vacuum. It's the moisture in the buildings. Oh, I only know that lime wash is highly alkaline, so that it prevents mold from going on there. And Torrance did tell me that this is VOC free, so you know, free from all the oxides, stuff like that. So that's why I really love. But my mother feels like, why do you need to do lime wash? Because she feels like you know, the moment she brushes her hands, it's powdery lah. Yeah, she feels that the paint come off. But I told her it's a young people vibe. It actually grows with time. Oh, so after it settles down in a couple of months time, right? It won't be powdery. Oh, okay. And now my floor. My whole house, final, is from Evo Rich. Ah, so this series is called the Evo Hearth series. Mm. What does the hearth mean? Is high end resilient flooring. Ah, oh. so hard night. But apart from that, they are also scratch resistant, ah. water resistant, and also dent resistant.
resistant. La. And I know that Evo Rich has a wide variety uh, of no, colors. No. Yeah, but only that few early tones can yeah. match my house. We eventually got this color, which hey. I love so, so much. So thank you so much, Evo Rich. And uh, moving on to my very beautiful curtains. Yeah. So I have already known that in my new house, I want day and night curtains. Mm. Yeah, and this is bottle rice, so you just give it a tap. Uh. Ding! I... See? She pretends she knows, <laughs> but just, she just only learned this like two minutes ago. Yeah. <laughs> she, she just told me. So how do I always close my curtains? I go, hey Siri! Uh, and like Siri will do it for me. Yeah. Or I operate it from the remote control. So there's many ways of controlling this motorized curtains. Mm. So convenient, honestly. Mm. So for my balcony doors, I actually got coconut to help me install the multi-layer sputtering film. Ah, uh, sputtering film and solar film pui yang ah. Sputtering film can reject heat up to 99%. Uh, mm. So pui yang la. It's not just darkened the whole thing. As a girl, what's how pa UV based? Mm. So coconut installed uh, the film not just for my house, mm. my car as well. Mm. But for this one, it's slightly different. Like what Ryan mentioned, mm. it can reject heat, mm. it can reject glare, and it can also prevent the shattering of glass, which mm. is very important, lah. Then the darkness of this one can customize, so I don't mm. need to because I also going to do for my house. That's what we will research. So this film, right, is also the world first film, right, that can produce healthy air through negative ions. Okay, this one I really don't know, but they say got this feature, lah. I don't know because I can't feel it, ma. Yeah. Oh, I feel it out, but in my new house, probably I will tell you. Lah. Okay, shall we take a look at the balcony? Oh yes, this is our favorite part. So I turned my balcony into a very comfortable dining space. So mm. I installed a table here, and Ken's idea was to install a bench over there that, that can actually act as a storage. Correct. Oh, yeah. You can open it up, and there's a lot of storage space. And I didn't even put anything inside yet. Right, right. Yeah, and then there's a power plug here for what? I tell Ken for my hot pot. Ah. So when I eat hot pot here, I can like connect to it. Okay. And I really wanted something like that. It's like a bar counter yeah, kind of thing. Like, can, yeah. can view. I have to say, the view is really very beautiful. And this place is super windy. That's why Hazel never installed any fan mm. because it's really very windy. Mm. So the previous homeowner, their zip tracks were manual. So I decided to install motorized one. This is called the Zip Square by Secret Furnishing. Mm. And if I pull up the zip tracks, right, the natural air will come in. Mm. Secondly, I can get it down, open my balcony doors, my aircon can still reach mm. my dining area. Yeah. And it can can keep out heat, mm. keep out rain, you know, in case I'm not at home. And most importantly, it can keep out dust. The last thing I want is a dusty dining yeah, yeah, table, yeah. right? This is where you eat, eh? Yeah, yeah. so you know, just feeling it. It's wow. really dust free. Yeah, so having a zip square is so important in all your balconies, guys. Mm. Now we are done with the balcony and we are heading to the master bedroom. Mm. But master bedroom, I don't want to do it because I very personal. So now you will go and do your master bedroom, your study room, and your toilet, and I will sit down at my favorite area. What? What? Ah. Hey, this guy is like this. I eat eggs. I eat eggs. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, la, okay, la, go, la, go, go. 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 Okay, okay, okay. Gladly, I'll take you on my house tour. Let's go. As you can tell, I have a huge glass wall here. So why is this here? Because I want my house to look a lot more spacious. So previously it was covered up like a solid block, right? And I felt that mm, it's too compartmentalized. So I want my guests to be able to look into my study area, my master bedroom, just by standing in the living room. And if I want some privacy, I have some blinds. But before we go there, I want to show you one of my favorite spots in this house. Also, the girliest part of my house. And that is the toilet. So this is the only pink element I have in my house is the dusty pink basin. So this is the basin I picked from Lucky Kun. This is my first favorite thing in the bathroom. I think the dusty pink basin goes so well with the matte black tap. Second thing, the overhead shower. You know, I didn't want to get an overhead shower in the first place, but Swiss Interior told me I should. So I did and I never regretted it. Yesterday, I ended like a whole long day of filming. I came home, I used the overhead shower and felt like it just washed away the entire day of fatigue, of negative juju. And I came out feeling so rejuvenated and so happy. For the hand shower uh, from Lucky Kun as well, I picked them out. Every time I turn on the shower, the water will definitely come out from the hand shower itself. So it would not give me a scare by coming down from the overhead shower. And one other thing about my overhead shower and hand shower is that it has this thing called the quick clean technology. You know how sometimes, you know, when you don't wash the water away, it turns into like this slimy lime scale deposit. So with the quick clean technology, all you gotta do is just rub it and it will be gone in an instant. Leaving your toilet clean and neat, which is what I love. The third thing, when I talked about this on my Instagram story, so many people came to ask me, 
where I got this from. I got this toilet roll from Lucky Kun and I just want to say this is Japan inspired. There was one time I went to Japan and I sat down on a toilet bowl and it was heated. So I got a toilet bowl with a heated toilet seat. And one thing about this toilet bowl is that it uses less water for more powerful flushing. How? is the tornado flush so everything gets like sucked in and like down under yeah you get what i mean and to wrap up my toilet tour i just want to show you guys my velto art door from eight doors it's flush to the wall seamless design there's concealed hinges so you can't see the hinges from here but as i open it you can see it's very beautifully hidden here so i have two one for the toilet and one to enter my study so this is my very beautiful study room with the glass wall in place one of my friends actually brought up a very interesting perspective she says like this is like a DJ booth, you know. We are doing work here and then people can see us from the outside. I guess I quite like that link. So for privacy purposes, if I would not like people to look in, I can actually pull down these blinds. I really love these blinds. It's called the Venetian blinds. And this is the exact colour I chose. You can choose the colour for these pieces of wood and the fabric in between so that it fits your house. I love how Ken designed it so that when my blinds are up, I can't see it from the outside because it's blocked by the curved arch here. So it features this very seamless look. Next up, my Omni desk. You notice how there's no chair in my study room? That's right, I won't be getting a chair because I love to do my work standing up. I like my table to be very, very sleek. You see everything on the tabletop very clean. And for the bottom, there's actually this thing that can help you manage your cables. So even before I got my own home, I know already that I want to get an Omni desk. Next up, this part of my house features my safe. And I love this safe from Undigital Lock because the interior looks so super luxe and I love that the inside is also cream in colour because it matches the theme of my whole house so after this video is done I'm gonna set my own passcode with my thumbprint this safe is quite heavy by the way so don't think of coming here and stealing my safe okay next up why do I have a piano in my house for people who know me you know that I and an amateur at playing the guitar. The next instrument I really want to learn is the piano. And this is a milestone that I set for myself. After reaching 30 years old, this is something new that I want to take up. But right now, I can play Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. That's the only thing I can play. Mm, when I get better, I'll show you guys, okay? <laughs> This one, this one is the plug that I got from hosting the National Day Parade last year. And when I got this, I almost cried. This is an achievement that I hold very dear to my heart. And I hope that, you know, next year, SG60, I will have the chance to take up the NDP stage again. Manifesting it, which is why I'm putting it right in the middle of my study. Position it properly. Ding, 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 ding. <laughs> and if you were to ask me what's the biggest feature of my house, I would say it's this wardrobe. I've always known that in my new house, I wanted a display cabinet for all my bags. Well, I really, really had fun setting everything up here. And I can't wait to show all my girlfriends about it and we exchange bags, you know. So this is a display cabinet I really love. Welcome to my bedroom and my bed is from Usa. So one thing Ken told me was to get a low bed. This is a limited edition bed frame and the colour of this is called Malt. So nice right? It's queen size and I also got a long pillow. I knew I've always wanted a long pillow from Usa instead of two normal pillows because what I want to do is roll from this side of my bed to there and still be on my pillow. So comfortable. My mattress. I think Usa mattress are really something. Do you know that their mattresses are made up of four layers? And these four layers really help you support your back so that it doesn't sink into it. And I also got the plus cover. So this Terra mattress with the plus cover keeps me so snug at night. Not to mention the silk duvet. So this duvet is actually very breathable and it can last up to 15 years with proper care. And one final thing I want to tell you guys is always get tensile sheets. After experiencing tensile sheets, I totally gave up on cotton sheets because tensile sheets are just so cool to the touch. And these Wusa tensile sheets, it actually has this silk finish also. It is cool to the touch but at the same time at night when my aircon is on, it keeps me warm. So this is something I really love about tensile sheets. And next, my fan! This is my only fan I have in the entire house. And of course, the colours are carefully chosen. The blades are of like a dark wood kind of colour. And the thing about this fan is that it can spin both sides, clockwise and anti-clockwise. I never knew fans could do this. The people at Spin Fan told me if it's spinning one side, a lot of the wind is actually coming down, right down this way. But if it spins the other way, the wind is actually diffused. Oh guys, and one mistake I made in my bedroom is that I underestimated the size. So look at this. I actually 
don't have much space to cross. What was the mistake I made? First of all, I did not expect my bed frame to be so thick. Secondly, on the other side, my display cabinet also took up some space. It's has some space here, it's has some space here. I'm only left with this amount of space. But still, I try to make the most out of this empty space here by putting my guitar. And I actually stuff a lot of things here. And the curtains can conceal it. Perfecto! Alright, now time for my wardrobe. But first, I got it. Come back. Okay, to enter my wardrobe, you must open this magical door, okay? So this door is from the Serrano Collection by 8 Doors. So I can actually choose for the glass to be see-through, but I want a bit more privacy in case like, I have guests over and I'm changing inside, right? So I chose a frosted finish. And the thing about this door is that it has no bottom track, which means I will not accidentally trip over it. Okay, now I want to show you guys my wardrobe. Did you know that this space used to be a toilet? So you can see this one, there's actually no way to remove this. This is not a storage, but there's no choice because it has to hide like pipes that was from the toilet before. So I could turn the rest of the space into my vanity corner, you know, my accessories corner, and a place to hang all my clothes. This corner is designed for me by Ken. It features all my accessories, all hung up nicely. My watch is here as well. Now, these are not all the clothes I have, but um, to put everything neatly, it is a bit of an issue. This space it used to be an open place without the mirror. But I told Ken, I have to stuff all my stuff somewhere, the unsightly ones, and I have to have it covered. So Ken actually suggested giving me a door with a mirror so that you know in my changing room I can look at myself in the full length mirror before I go out and stuff like that and I thought that was brilliant it also has a matte black finish when I open this up you can see it's filled with all my stuff my winter wear and you know girls got a lot of crop tops they are very small but it can be very messy if you stuff them all together this is where I put everything so that's it for my house tour I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did and then uh, Ryan has a tzis uh, to find him. I'm back from slacking! The post reno clinic. Oh. Well, I never knew that post reno clinic is different from normal clinic. Yeah, yeah. I was gonna all like come here alone and do all the cleaning myself, but Ryan told me, no, don't do that. Yeah, yeah. A lot of people actually, when I do renovation, right, they actually overlook this part. Mm. They want nice furniture, yeah. all the nice lighting, but they never consider about post reno clinic. A lot of people also don't know that post renovation clinic and normal clinic is actually two very different things. post renovation clinic, you can try to clean yourself but the dust will keep coming back, right? So it requires very specialized cleaning. Scott Master basically will send three workers and one supervisor, okay, to monitor the entire cleaning and they will have their own equipment. If you're not happy with the cleaning, right, within 24 hours, right, they will be able to come down and touch up and clean anything in your house. So not only post renovation cleaning, they also got part-time maid cleaning. So your regular cleaning, you can also hire Scrub Master. So, Hazel, this is your first renovation, right? Yeah! Uh, you have any the throughout the whole journey? Is there any hiccups or anything you want to share with the audience? I think that is a very difficult thing. It's very difficult! It's tiring for every party involved. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, and like you mentioned just now, I think the toughest part is making a decision. Yeah, yeah. When Ken comes up to me with like eight colours, they look so almost the same. Yeah, just yeah. like the shade is slightly different. Yeah. Ask me to make a decision, I'm like... I don't know, they all look fine. Correct, correct. But um, I think the overall process was made so much smoother and so much more fun mm. with Ken's help. Mm. I know I keep talking about him, but mm. that's how much of a help he has offered me, you know. Mm. Even I buy Taobao, even these cushions, okay? I send him screenshot one by one. I say, Ken, would this fit? Ken, oh, would that fit? How will approve la. So, ah. you can approve the things I will So, right. so, yeah. so, yeah. so I would recommend anybody who's gonna do up their house to always get an interior designer yeah, yeah, because yeah. they definitely know better and know yeah. more than you. So, if you're interested to renovate your house, you can also look for Ken from Swiss Interior. And Swiss Interior is running a promotion where if you sign a package of more than 30000 you'll receive a total of $1,000 vouchers of sanitary wear and lighting. And actually, we found Swiss Interior from Easy ID. So, Easy ID is a renovation platform where we connect homeowners to a curated list of ID. So thank you so much for all the help you have provided me with this interior. And last but not least, I want to give a huge shout out to the Overkill team, yeah. to the Get ID team. And Ryan here, he has really helped me so much from even before I purchased this place. Like, thank you so much. Yes, yes no worries. Okay, so uh, i really very happy for Hazel. The house Aww. is very beautiful and the view mm. is killer. It's one of the nicest views that I have featured of all uh, house tours, uh, except for mine. Uh. <laughs> 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 the view is better. 
<laughs> oh, okay. And that's all for Hazel's house tour. If you are interested in any of the products or uh, services that you found in her house, we have a promo deck in the description box below. So be sure to follow all our socials, follow her on our socials, Thank click you. here for more, click here to what? <laughs> and cut to the bloopers. Bye! 88 times 30. Save a lot, if you How much is it? <laughs> Eight dollars? I don't know. Not any help. But that's, okay. that's why I drop out, guys. That's why I drop out. I never finish second. <laughs>